the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather here with love and affection to pray for our loved ones who have gone before us. Today, as we celebrate All Souls Day, we pray that the Lord may embrace our loved ones as we pray for them and they pray for us. And to prepare ourselves, let us now pause. Examine our conscience for all our sins and failings. Ask the Lord's pardon and His mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son raised from the dead is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. Job said, Ah, would that these words of mine were written down, inscribed on some monument with iron chisel and engraving tool, cut into the rock forever. This I know, that my avenger lives, and he, the last, will take his stand on earth. After my awaking, he will set me close to him, and from my flesh, I shall look on God. He whom I shall see will take my part. These eyes will glaze on him and find him not aloof. The word of the Lord. Our response shall be, the Lord is my light and my help. Kindly repeat. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? The Lord is my light and my help. There is one thing I ask of the Lord. For this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savor the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. The Lord is my light and my help. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. The Lord is my light and my help. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. The Lord is my light and my help. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. I 
I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you, and after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, there is a Mexican saying that goes, a person dies three deaths. The first death when he physically dies. The second death, when he is interred. And the third death, when there is no one left to remember him. Today we gather in love and affection to remember our dear departed. We ask God to welcome them, to embrace them into the company of his angels and his saints. We are confident in faith that God will hear our prayer. And so today we perform a spiritual work of mercy by remembering our dear departed. We pray for everyone. Everyone deserves our prayers. Those who have been faithful to God, who have kept his commandments, those who have not been faithful to God, who have been far away from his church, we pray for them. Every Sunday, we pray the Creed. The Creed is a reminder for us that we are not alone on our faith journey, that we enjoy the communion of saints, that we are one church, the saints who are in heaven, those who are being purified on their way to heaven, our faithful departed. And we, the pilgrim church on earth, we are all united. Today is a good day to remind ourselves that we belong to a community that transcends time and space, that those who are in heaven intercede for us. We pray for those in purgatory, and when they reach heaven, they pray for us. Death is the door to eternal life. Today we are reminded that we will all pass through that door. Eternal life, where God has said, we will see what no eye has seen. We will hear what no ear has heard. God has prepared such a beautiful place for those who love him. Our faith will help us at the end of our journey. But our faith will help us in our daily dyings, our daily dyings of pain, of suffering, when we lose physical health in sickness at the loss of a loved one. Suffering, however it may come, my dear brothers and sisters, it is not without joy, because resurrection is the end of the story. If we have died with Christ, we will rise with him. And it is in this faith that we gather today to pray for our dear departed, and we pray for ourselves that God may give us the courage and strength to live holy lives. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and our human hands have made. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servants may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. In Him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. When our earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for us in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of glory as we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. We thank you for counting us worthy to come before your holy presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered together into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Oswald Gracious our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servants whom you have called from this world to yourself. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now pray for our dear departed. Those of you who have placed the photographs of your dear departed close to your altar, and all those who remember their dear departed from their families, their friends, all those whom we know, let us pray for their eternal repose. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember, Lord, all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your holy face. Have mercy on us gathered here, Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. God loves us so much that we are never separated from our loved ones. They are united with us in prayer and we pray for them in love. Let us then join in the prayer which Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await in blessed hope, for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the angel in the power and the glory 
Lord Jesus Christ to set to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever the peace of the lord jesus be with you always let us share with each other a sign of god's love peace be with you together lamp of god take away the sin of the world have mercy on us lamp of god take away have mercy on us lamp of god behold the lamp of god behold jesus who takes away the sins of the world Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O oh Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O oh Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power. in the communion of your mysteries in the perfection of your ways o divine guest give to my soul a strong lively faith an unbounded trust perfect humility an abiding sorrow for my sins a total abandonment to your divine will and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart O sacrament most holy O sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine Lord Jesus thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion I am the resurrection and the life says the Lord whoever believes in me even though he dies will live and everyone who believes in me will not die but live forever John 11 verse 25 to 26 let us pray grant we pray o lord that your departed servants for whom we have celebrated this special sacrament may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace to Christ our lord the lord be with you bow your heads and pray for god's blessings may the god of all consolation bless you In his unfathomable goodness he created the human race in the resurrection of his only begotten son he has given believers the hope of rising again amen to us who are alive may god grant pardon for our sins and to all the dead a place of light and peace amen may we all live happily forever with christ whom we believe truly rose from the dead Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you for ever. This mass is ended. Let us go in peace to truly love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.
心。